Oh, hell no. I got to get the heck out of this place. Oh, hell yeah. That's what the doctor ordered. Cactus and palm trees. What is going on everybody? How are you doing out there today? I am in sunny, sunny Mesa, Arizona, down here visiting one of my best friends who's turning 50 this month. And uh, so I'm very excited to be here and it's just astonishing the surroundings. Uh, that back there is a, just a giant cactus. But uh, as you can see, it's just sunny and like 60 degrees outside. It's beautiful coming from 16 degrees in Moline. Anyway, we're going to go drive around, maybe do a little bit of dumpster diving, you know, you know the thing. So, anyway, let's get to it. Oh, those palm trees. That's awesome. So the problem is I'm driving my buddy's little ranger. And, there you go. I'm already knocking stuff out as I'm getting out. It's not making it easy at all. truck is just too small. I want a backboard everybody. There we go. Nice, yeah, no gloves. start so you see that there there's a monitor with a cord on a little rolling desktop or cabinet top whatever filing cabinet thing but if you look right up there it says no trespassing no dumping so I'm not gonna mess with these dumpsters but that's too bad well I will tell you that I have been to a lot of dumpster areas there are so much so many signs saying stay out you know, private property. Uh, I don't see anything around here that gives me that indication, and I see these sticking out, so I'm kind of excited. Wow. That is just crazy. Heavy duty metal, baby. Look at that. That is just insane. Just looking for any of the signs that say do not, you know. I don't see anything, anything that says it, so. Yeah. I guess I'll be making a trip to the scrapyard. Crazy. Look at all that threaded rod in there. holding my breath. I feel like somebody's gonna come up any minute and go, hey, get the hell out of there.
like that. camera up it's okay all right not a bad haul huh not a bad haul at all All right, what's going on everybody? How you doing out there today? This is my buddy Rick I'm down here in Arizona to see him and celebrate his 50th birthday. What? Old fart, old fart alert. <laughs> <laughs> and that behind us is the sun. You, you kind of forget what that looks like if you live in the Midwest. Right. But uh, where are we going to breakfast, Rick? Denny's. Denny's? On, yep, Country Club and Southern. I flew all the way to Mesa, Arizona for Denny's. What the hell's going on? One hour later. All right, everybody. Well, this is day two. I uh, found that metal. You can probably see it back there. Anyway, uh, Rick and I are going to head over to the scrap yard and see what we can turn it into. I'm sure it won't be too much money. Garage sale. There are garage sales here in December, people. Get that. <laughs> Gotta love it. So, I think we're going to try and do some garage sale tomorrow, maybe. So, yep. we got to get the money from the metal to go to the garage sale. So, there you go. Anyway, let's see what their scrapyard looks like here in a little bit. Whoa! Hey, you driver. <laughs> That's my favorite stuff right there. Copper. Copper. Yeah. Steel? Yeah. Uh, right now they're not taking steel at the moment. Okay. Oh, okay. So you might want to try with American metal for the fifteen dollars. So they didn't want our steel, and I'm a little it's still a little bit. I think it's because their steel is so far down right now. And what do you say about the truck? They, they, their truck was in an accident. The truck was in an accident. So they have a hard time moving the, the steel out. Yeah, so that combined with the low steel prices, they're actually losing money dealing with steel right now. So kind of interesting. Saying that they're paying, a, what, a penny a pound? That's what they were paying, That's yeah. what they were paying, a penny a pound. So kind of insane right now. We have a battery guy that actually, he, he buys the batteries from us and he goes like a mile down the street and sells he was telling us a story about how he needed a dock for uh, a place he has in Montana and this is a um, a handicap ramp all aluminum somebody brought in for scrap and he's like that's exactly what I need for my deck my dock up in Montana so he's got a free you know, diamond plated dock. Isn't that awesome? So it's, it's it'd be nice to own your own scrapyard, wouldn't it? It's, also copper. What's that? it's copper. I mean, it, looks, it looks like it is. You got brass mixed in with it, or what? What's the? Yeah. 
Yeah, look at that. Sprinkler system. That's a huge amount of brass. Funny stuff comes through here. Very cool. That's awesome. All this grass artwork. I don't know where it went. We just had a Let's see what this looks like, Rick. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Seven and a half times two. Seven and a half times two. Fifteen. Fifteen bucks. You have fifteen bucks on you. So we just left the uh, scrap jar. We ended up meeting the owner, which is kind of odd. Um, and he had a lot of different stories to tell us. But uh, we were looking at that bird cage there, and they were selling that bird cage for what they get for brass. And they figured it'd be about 15 bucks. Did some research. It looks like we could have maybe made, you know, doubled our money now and maybe tripled our money at best case scenario. So we decided not to get it. But um, yeah, interesting fellow. Yeah, definitely fun. Definitely nice to meet. Yeah, so. Anyway, uh, we're going to go down here to a place that sells auto parts, but also buys scrap metal, and apparently they will buy the steel, so we'll see what we get for it. Prohibited. How are we doing? Look at that's dirty aluminum. It's dirty. I wonder what it did. It's dirty. There's a police car up top there, you see that? <laughs> there is a police car there. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. <clears throat> Alright, so there's a refrigerator sitting right here. I wanted to check the inside to see for shits and giggles. Yep, there's crispers, shelves. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. It's probably a hundred bucks worth of parts in there, easy. Yeah. Putting all the rims over here, that's what's making all the noise. All the aluminum rims. Oh, okay. So they fold it up and give you your money and they get a nice little tight little package here. We made $7.20, 160 pounds at 90 bucks in that time. That's the best money I've seen in a long time from a scrapyard. So not bad, I'm pretty happy with that. So Rick and I are gonna have uh, $3.60 a piece. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, yeah, 360 a piece, yeah. So that'll buy Rick, uh, I don't know, a Coke. A soda. A soda, two. a soda or two. <laughs> Maybe if I get one free. <laughs> <laughs> common site that I'm always confused about is all the washers and dryers are outside for people's use. Yeah, because, because why? It, it never rains uh, very often, it never freezes, so no snow. It's no snow. You can always go outside and do the laundry. But my, my washer and dryer in my house get rusty, something you know, in, in the nooks and crannies. But it doesn't rain here very often. So, wow. And so it's, it's such a eaves. So it's such a dry environment that... Yes. There's little to no corrosion. Wow, that's so cool. Whoa. Nice. Did they did they know you did you let them borrow your car? Yeah, right. <laughs> Slow enough for me to get into. <laughs> yeah, I probably couldn't get into it, right? <laughs> that's funny. Alright guys, well my buddy Rick had to go to a doctor's appointment, so I'm back out here on the hunt. We're gonna see what we can find today. I'm gonna try and stick to mostly apartment complexes because, well, a lot of these uh, retail places have no trespassing signs. Oh. Light bulbs, I was hoping that'd be metal tubes. How about a chair? Aluminum, right? Vacuum cleaner there. I can't see if it's got a cord or not. If it did, I have nothing to cut it with. So 
Yeah, my bad. Probably a quart on that Bissell. And again, another Bissell. <laughs> another one. Got a quart on it yet. Just had something to cut this with. Oh, come on, Rick. Have something in here. Tell he keeps his vehicle about as clean as I do. I'm just gonna take the whole thing, cut it, and then trash the rest of it. So I just passed some employees on a golf cart, and as they passed me, I saw them pointing back at my truck. So I think I'm gonna get out of this complex as soon as I can and go find another one. All right, so I found the exit here. This is a real nice complex. It's big. Definitely some high income players here. So this would be a good place. I'd come back here on a regular basis, probably on a Saturday when there's a lot less eyes around. Hot dishwasher. <laughs> wow. Somebody pulled the motor off of it though. Smart. These are the guys you gotta keep an eye out for on these apartment complexes in the in the golf carts they're the ones that will come up to you and say hey will you get out of our dumpster TV with a cord I'm not going to carry that with me though got an iron there no iron no hook no nothing to pull it up with This or yeah, it did nice. Just had one of the tenants come out and say, You should have been here a few days ago. And I said, Oh, yeah, why is that? He says, Because they had a toilet sitting out here, perfectly good toilet. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm, I'm kind of looking for metal. That was a shame, he said. It sat out there for a couple days, but you know, we can't have toilets sitting outside like that. I thought, well, yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Nothing. Well, if I were back home, I would definitely take that. That's nice. I wonder if Rick would want that. You know what? I'm going to take it home to him. He may want that for storage. I don't know. Well, guys, I think this is going to be the last one. It's a beautiful day. It's 68 degrees outside, which is just incredible. Couldn't be more happy with the way things turned out. <laughs> of course. Yeah. I'm not going to take these, just, but I want you to see that they're here. They're available. Um, I think you got the idea that there's definitely a good opportunity here in Mesa for doing dumpster diving. Well, everybody, I think that is going to wrap this one up. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. You know, I came down here to do some dumpster diving for your entertainment and for my own personal entertainment. But for also, I just really wanted to answer the question is, you know, can you dumpster dive fairly quickly? Yeah, that's a rooster. <laughs> can you dumpster dive in a new area fairly quickly? And absolutely can. A lot of opportunity here. So many apartment complexes. Uh, it's like complex upon complex upon complex. Shh, I'm trying to film. And uh, anyway, it's it's uh, was just amazing how many apartment complexes there are around here. I think a person down here could literally dumpster dive every single day and fill up the truck. I hope you can hear that rooster. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. The next one we're going to be doing things like going to Goodwill, going to an auction, going gar uh, going garage sailing. Uh, tomorrow which is amazing they can go garage sailing in December I'm like what so anyway I love it here it's 68 degrees but one more time thank you guys for tuning in I appreciate it take care of yourselves and we will see you all at the next dumpster take care bye bye everybody